What is up guys? My name is Sam Yen. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there? Despite all the backlash from the For Rent Sims expansion pack that recently dropped, The Sims is actually exposing a new show that's coming out. It's a new series that takes on a creative spark when it comes down to The Sims and we're going to be talking about that a little bit later. I do want to do a little mini recap of The Sims For Rent before we get into that and of course we're going to get into a couple of Simmers tweets. Also shout out to the giveaway winners and there'll be many more to come so stay tuned and thank Thank you all for the love and support. Now with that being said, let's get into the topic of the for rent controversy that's recently been happening as of lately. So we do know the for rent has unfortunately been a little buggy, not a little, a lot of buggy, very glitchy and many users have been having so many issues to the point where they can't even download the game still or play. Again, I talked about this on my last video where a lot of simmers have taken to Twitter to discuss and announce their concerns and again, I do not blame them. There are even videos of severe lagging where people cannot even go on build and buy mode and actually be able to create the townhome, condos, or apartments of their dreams when it comes down to The Sims. Now The Sims team has been made aware of this and they did take The Sims Direct and also stating over on EA Answers HQ about the situation, but besides all of that, The Sims has still been promoting, you know, the four rent expansion pack and it's a little bit, not much of a shocker, but it is kind of annoying when you see the issues that are going on and The Sims is still promoting The Sims 4 for rent knowing all the issues that are going on behind it. And of course, one user even tweeted out, please fix this tile from the for rent. The red swatch doesn't display correctly. Now we're going to take a look at this image a little bit closer. And I also want to know if anyone else has been having this issue, because again, this is an ongoing issue that's been happening with the Sims and not only just the Sims in general, but just the for rent EP has just been not up to par. They've been facing a lot of controversial backlash. And again, the Sim crews have not stated anything since this entire fee fiasco has started and again they are staying silent and not saying a word I don't know if they're all doing this and you know together saying like hey let's all not post and let's not all say something because if one person says something that they're gonna expect all sim gurus to say something but again no sim gurus have said anything regarding the backlash many people are like well what are the sim gurus supposed to say but other people are like um they need to be speaking out about the issues because again they're the ones who are promoting this expansion pack would love to know your comments down below and I did want to get into of course the sims tweeting out saying some people say they're not creative but we know that's just not true introducing not creative a new series from the sims debuting across amazon and of course it invites users to go ahead and be a little bit more creative of course as you guys can tell by the title of the new series they haven't stated how many episodes there are going to be of this series and i am going to get into my thoughts and opinions in just a little bit as well as some simmers tweets and concerns regarding this again there is a lot of things to say about this and, and uh, y'all it, it was a lot when I saw this I was like why this was very very terrible timing in my personal opinion but again we are going to get into that in just a bit and the sims actually tweeted out you could also check it out on amazon.com slash not so creative or search the sims not creative on your fire tv channel app link available on the sims link tree and of course this is where it takes you to where you can actually go and look at every single episode the first episode is all dedicated about finding your perspective and really diving deep into the interior designs now I did take a look at some of these episodes I think it's cute I think it's there the idea was there I I love the idea they went for. Like, I, I I see their vision. I see, I saw the vision. I see what they wanted to do. I just think this is very, very terrible, poorly timing. I'm sure this was probably, you know, thought of way before the backlash occurred. And this was already going to come out regardless of what was going to happen with The Sims for Rent, you know, controversy. But again, I just think it was very, very, very bad timing considering all of the drama they are facing when it comes down to just The Sims in general, not not working and being up to par with how with what basically simmers wanted again i would love to know your thoughts and opinions on what you guys think about this and have you guys checked out the series i don't think the series is bad i think it's a very good idea especially people for for people who are new to the sims i think this is a really good idea and for people who just overall you know just you know lack a little bit of creativity which i don't get i'm like if you play the sims i feel like automatically you're a creative person but i don't know i could be wrong y'all let me know your opinions down below in the comments but that's just 
my take on it but again i love where they was going for this i just think it was very very poor timing and yeah that's just my thoughts and opinions on that and i felt like there was just so much more they could have been focused on but instead they decided to you know showcase this knowing all the backlash and you know i just feel like they should have addressed it on the sims actual twitter you know their official twitter and been like hey we see what's going on but you know we're going to be working on it also just check out this cure i don't know they're honestly again the sims is a very damn if they do damn if they don't situation when it comes down to just the sims in general because of all the backlash they've been facing and i feel like they kind of do it to themselves again i say this multiple times on multiple different videos and i feel like the sims no matter what they do they're going to have some sort of backlash because of the consistency on which they decide to lack when it comes down to having up to par what what we want and it's just i don't know who's on the team who's making these calls and who's making these decisions but something has got to give something has got to change and all we can hope and wait for to see is what's going to be coming up in 2024 but more on that later i did want to get into a couple of simmers tweets and concerns regarding this new tv show and we're going to get into a couple of simmers tweets starting off with davi who said why not use the budget to improve in gameplay mechanics and bug fixes and i completely agree i think there was a time and place and this just wasn't the time lunar said can you make a series about fixing fps drops that have been plaguing the game for five years someone else by the name of diego said why not focus on the game and we have another user that actually took the twitter to say by cow plant instead of spending your resources on a tv show nobody asks for put your effort into fixing all those stupid bugs also our sims can't even dance like shown in that one clip and the sims is known for showing trailers knowing that the sims itself do not act that way again they're always using this kind of propaganda and i'm just so annoyed at it and crazy cat lady had a two-part tweet that said hey when are you going to put out a patch fix the bugs that the new patch caused the last patch didn't actually fix anything there are so many things that are broken right now it's really bad i don't use mods or cc so i know it's just the game this is just a small list of things i experienced playing today and i can't complete jobs for interior decorator career the events never end and you can't end it early every time i make nectar it automatically aged into finely aged and number three moved into a house and got one million dollars and of course a lot of people have been having issues and y'all again the sims has just been promoting this and has been ignoring all of the backlash you can see for yourself i'm not just reading just the negative tweets there's just been so many tweets in general of the backlash that they are facing because a lot of people are fed up with the way they've been handling things and i do not blame them a lot of simmers have been wondering what the state of the sims 4 franchise is going to be and was it a good idea in general to release three eps we know we got three eps this year which actually never happens in sims history and we've gotten growing together horse ranch and for rent and every single one of these packs came with issues that could have been fixed before release i actually even tweeted out and if you guys aren't following me it's the sim yen and it says i think it's safe to say that the sims for rent ep seemed rushed and was not ready to be released and i will stand by that i know there was a lot of backlash regarding you know some opinions that i had before that i even made statements re like before the for rent actually came out i got a lot of backlash about it and i and then now that it's out i mean guys it's just blatantly in our faces it wasn't ready to come out they rushed it to think of like oh my gosh look three eps everyone's gonna love us and then it ended up back like you know it ended up backtracking them and and, and, and people are a little frustrated about what's going to be going on with the sims 4 franchise again with over 60 plus dlcs and of course totaling over 1000 us dollars and so much more in other countries people are wondering how much more of the sims do we have left how much more are they going to drag out until a lot of simmers are going to be like you know what we're just fed up with this whole thing we're done i've seen a lot of simmers just say you know what i'm not playing the sims 4 anymore i'm only playing the sims 4 or i'm only playing the sims 3 or i'm only playing the sims 2 some people have even been playing the sims 1 which i don't know how you guys are doing that on your computers i have tried to get the sims 1 on my computer and i cannot do that so if anybody knows any kind of idea on how to do that on a mac please let me know down below in the comments because i think that would be such a fun video to do for you guys but again like i said back to what i was stating that the sims 4 has just again the sim groups that there's going to be many more years to come but many more years of what many more years of bugs and glitches many more years of lag many more years of not being able to play the game many more years of promoting a broken pack how many more years are we going to have of what and then you guys are going to also have project renee in the same time like what is going on i really hope they get this fixed and i really hope this, they get this situated because again this is going 
going to be a continuous issue that's not going to stop and they're putting it they're doing it to themselves again they're in a damn if they do damn if they don't situation and i stand by that but with that all being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have shown me over the past couple of days and who've dealing and dealing with me for like my non-consistency that i've been on this channel again i'm trying my best to post as often as i can but again um yeah so i'm just i'm really excited to showcase a couple of videos that i have waiting for you guys and again thank you all so much for the love and support we are officially on the road to 30k thank you guys so much for 20k or 25k excuse me you guys are truly making my dreams come true of being just a gaming content creator and that's something that i've always wanted to do so again the love does not go unnoticed every comment does not go unnoticed please i love y'all thank y'all i just want you guys to really really understand that i truly appreciate every single one of you every single comment every single like every single share it really doesn't go unnoticed and i want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart with that all being said i will see you guys all in the next video bye